Essendon star Zach Merritt has reached out to club legend James Hurd to support Hurd's bid to make a return to coaching. The gun midfielder spoke at a luncheon, for women in insolvency and restructuring Victoria footy finals luncheon, last Friday, and it was reported by News Corp that Merritt had said he did not believe his club should rehire Hurd. But Seven News reporter Tom Brown has revealed that Merritt sent Hurd a text to clarify that position. Watch the video above, Mitch Cleary with all the latest from Pi's car crash drama. Analysis, local footy and the biggest moments, 7 and 7 Plus are the home of footy shows for every fan. Stream them all for free on 7 Plus Zach Merritt has reached out to James Hurd, supporting Hurd's determination to return as coach, Brown said. I'm told Merritt, sent Hurd a text and, said his luncheon comments were quoted out of context, and he would be excited if the Bombers legend wins the role. Hurd was officially interviewed by the club's subcommittee on Tuesday, confirming weeks of speculation that he would be considered for the role. He was first appointed Essendon coach in 2010, but hasn't held a senior coaching position since he resigned from his post during the 2015 season. His resignation came after he served a 12-month ban for his part in the club's drugs saga. Following Hurd's interview at Essendon, Club Great and Channel 7 presenter Tim Watson warned against the romantic lure of reappointing Hurd. I think for a lot of people it would drag back all those things that happened and occurred during that period of time that he was there as coach, Watson said on Sen. He hasn't coached since 2015, he wasn't a successful coach back then when he did coach although there were these unusual circumstances around all that. But maybe the sum of his experiences that he's had away from the game since then, and what he's been doing, has allowed him to develop a unique set of management skills. He's a super intelligent bloke, and all that would be unveiled through the interviewing process. It gives that group somebody else to interview, but also somebody else to measure the other candidates against. Watson said he'd be shocked if the selection panel chose Hurd as their man, but welcomed Hurd's courage to put his hand up, nonetheless. I have to say that I'd be more than surprised if he ended up being the coach of the Essendon Football Club, but I'm happy for him to be part of the process and for him to have the courage to put his hand up and even go through, with it, Watson said. Senior St Kilda assistant Brendan Laid was a surprise addition to the coaching shortlist, as revealed by Seven News reporter Mitch Cleary on Tuesday while Melbourne assistant Tuesday remains the frontrunner. Don Pike and Dean Solomon are also in the mix. The Bombers coaching subcommittee is made up of football boss Josh Mahoney, current board member Dorothy Hisgrove, four-time Hawthorne Premiership star Jordan Lewis, ex-Carlton coach Robert Walls, Melbourne Vixens netball coach Simone McInnes, people and culture expert and former NAB CEO Andrew Torborn. Asked directly about being impartial and weighing up Hurd's past, Lewis said the panel needed to be with every candidate. There were candidates today that I've had personal relationships with, been involved with at certain clubs, he told AFL 360. So there is certain elements of whether it be emotional, interactive, whatever it might be, you have to come with it from that lens. I think all the panel members today were really impressed by presentations. And finally, thank you all for watching the video. Please like and comment your opinion so we can discuss together, don't forget to subscribe, press the bell to follow and update many other interesting news. See you in the next videos. Goodbye.